This is a HeadGum Podcast. Hello and welcome to Perfect Person, the show where I'm perfect and you're a person. Um, today, I woke up really early and I got a little chocolate donut. Oh. I took Julian for a walk. And I walked in with the baby Bjorn, baby Bjorn, baby carrier. We went to a coffee shop and they said, hi. And I said, I'll have an espresso, a chocolate donut and a seltzer. And I thought the seltzer would be gratis, but it was a bottle. (laughs) And I did pay for a lot of it. Why did you think it would be gratis? Because often I feel that (laughs) seltzer should be gratis because what are they adding? Bubbles? Yeah, Yeah. I know. But that's not my problem. (laughs) (laughs) I'm obviously joined by the Wrecking Ball crew. (laughs) (laughs) I'm I'm here with the Wrecking Ball crew, Rainy Toll, Will Witwer. Ciao. We we came in like a Wrecking Ball. Yeah, we did come Mm -hmm. in like a Wrecking Ball. I was thinking about that this morning. Like, Miles always calls the Wrecking Ball crew. It's a reference to- (gasps) I love you, man. I love you, man. But I always think about Miley Cyrus freaking nude as hell, swinging on that. It's uh, Miles Cyrus. Oh, it's Miles Cyrus now. By the way, Rainy- I like what you did there with your new greeting. <laughs> you, I know it sort of flew under the radar briefly, but I'm glad we came back to it. Wait, wait, what? Did you did you know, did you miss that? Did she say my greeting? No, no, no. no. Long time well, listeners. Did I say your <laughs> greeting? No. What do you mean? What's your greeting? Well, you know, I have typically been saying "What up? What up?" Yo, um, oh, yeah, but it's passe at this point. But <laughs> you no, know, Rainy was trying out Chow. Yeah, oh, yeah. I thought that we, was really good. I'm an international woman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just went to the Venice Film Festival. You did? No. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, guys, it's good to have you here on the studio. As always, Rainy's sort of sipping a coffee. I'm wishing I had a second one. Mm -hmm. I opted to only go for one coffee this morning. Yeah, I only had one as well. Mm -hmm. I'm even thinking about going down from a large to a medium. Is that because you feel your heart rate is fluttering? Yeah. Interesting. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I also, I got to say, and it comes in waves and it comes on and it comes off, but I got to say for the summer, cold brew is canceled. No. And I'm really sorry to say it because I've been sipping on the stuff. No, cold brew is good. No, but here's the Mm. thing, Will. Have you ever finished a cold brew? Yes. And not gone to the ER. Yes. <laughs> because I've recently been having a cold brew and I've been thinking. And then drive taking yourself right to the ER. Driving right to the ER and saying, I'd like to admit for one, one ticket to the ER, please. <laughs> no, I've been getting a cold brew and I'll take like five sips and mm-hmm. I drink it. I don't even get the ice down to the bottom of the cup, if yeah. you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. The ice is still floating. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so I'm not even really drinking a lion's yeah. share of the brew. And then I'm having heart palpitations. I'm saying I'm nervous, I'm mm-hmm. worried. But if I have a hot coffee, typically that's just gassing me up. Yeah. <laughs> I also think there's something about the heat that just like gets you awake in a like natural healthy, no caffeine yeah. way. Natural like, healthy. By the way, natural healthy could be a book that Rainy writes. <laughs> Speaking of natural healthy, yeah. you know what I've been thinking for the studio? This would be a really funny purchase. So on Facebook Marketplace... <laughs> You can buy a little like it looks like a, it's about the size of a porta potty, and you can buy a little <laughs> infrared sauna that are these little like oh, yeah. wooden oh, boxes. You've got to get. And I was that. thinking for the studio. I was like, "There's nowhere for me to put it in my house." Yeah. But if I had a little infrared sauna in the studio, <laughs> oh yeah, I would sauna every day. Yeah, I would literally get in there in schwitz and sweat my ass off. Yeah. every single goddamn day, and I think I'd be healthier for it. Oh yeah, or gaunt, either one. <laughs> Will. <laughs> Sorry, I, I'm just having a really hard time when you describing coffee as natural healthy. I can't get, I can't get over. Coffee it. is no, natural hot, healthy. Hot coffee, natural healthy. Cold it, brew, yeah, no. unnatural <laughs> health, Un- unhealthy. It's unnatural. We're making ice with what? A freezer? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows how that's made? It's just like, I like it's it's fine to not like cold brew, but it's really funny to be like, well, hot coffee is natural. It is natural. Well, the heat is actually what I think is. It's Fire. like lemon water. Hot lemon water is like the best thing that you could do. The most natural thing you could possibly do. <laughs> <laughs> a hot lemon water? That's base. Like, if I have a hot lemon water, by the way, every single day I wake up mm-hmm. and I think today's the day. That you have the lemon water? That I have a hot yeah. lemon water. No, it's like today. This morning I had an oatmeal. Mm-hmm. At about 7 a.m. And I thought, today's the day that I throw away salt. 
that I throw away sugar, uh, that all I eat is base nutrients and water and coffee. <laughs> and then I immediately went and got a donut. But <laughs> the point is natural healthy is about eating oats. It is about <laughs> eat, drinking hot lemon water. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And it is about being at your base state, Will. Yes. Base state is kind of similar to the paleo, but less weird. Because paleo is about what? Cavemen did this? Yeah. Well, but you cavemen also drink hot lemon water. The, oh, well, they would use the lava. <laughs> <laughs> cavemen famously lived around volcanoes. You'd be surprised, man. Cavemen, very natural healthy. Well, so this is what I'm saying about the cold, cold brew you drink and you're sort of like, I am on drugs. I'm zhuzhed up because of the yeah. caffeine. Hot coffee, you are judged up because of the experience. Yeah, cavemen weren't drinking cold brew. I used to have a high caffeine tolerance. Yeah. I mean, I used to wake up and then just mainline, I've talked about this on the show, mainline cold brew because I worked at a coffee shop yeah. in college. Uh-huh. I would borderline bike sleeping to work at five <laughs> in the morning. And I remember I one time woke up on my bike. <laughs> like I clearly had left my house but I remember being so tired and it was five in the morning. It was dark out and I would bike across campus, which I really do miss the days of being oh, able to bike around like in that. in your sleep? I was probably coasting. Like, I just remember being like, oh, I'm tired. And I just remember going, <gasps> <laughs> uh, <laughs> like that feeling of going from sleep to awake, but yeah. I was moving on my bike down yeah. the street. And this it was is very a scary. sliding doors moment because if you were like angled slightly differently, you could have just like crashed into a wall. Yeah. Like oh, I, yeah. I flipped over my handlebars a bunch of times. That's what? so scary. Yeah, That's yeah. My, one of my biggest fears. That's like why I don't bike as I always picture little pebbles in the road mm-hmm. and just. I like had to avoid someone. I was on the sidewalk and then I had to avoid <gasps> and I, I went off and then they like stepped in front of the bike and I had to go off and I went into like a little divot. And I flipped over the handlebars completely and did a full, <gasps> full 360. How hurt were you? I was actually, my ass hurt a little. I think I like kind of landed on my laptop weirdly, but it was okay. But I was a little, that was the thing I was worried about. Oh yeah. That was interesting. That's crazy. It was kind of cray. I have had that experience of like, I did a midnight hike or like a, a sunrise hike in college and we went to like New Hampshire or something. Yeah. And then on the way back, I was driving and I was like, Sort of like, maybe I'll just fall asleep. And then I was like, no, we need to switch drivers because yeah. this is really bad. I think that, by the way, and something's really interesting is happening. I think that your headphones went back. Yeah, and in my went, hair. And then they went front and I'm loving it. <laughs> it's like a headband. It's almost of. like yeah. a headband It's sort type. of like I'm yeah. like a rich New Yorker. It's sort of rich New York. Yeah. And that's natural healthy. And that's natural healthy. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's more natural healthy than New York City. I agree. <laughs> that's what they call it the Big Apple. It keeps the doctor away. So mm. let's do a sort of vibe check here as yeah. we get into the show. That joke deserved more. Yeah. No, keep going. No, it didn't. But... Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, Will, how you doing recently? You, I'm, you know, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, yeah. I, I'd sort of like to get to my prepared segment. <laughs> yeah, you prepared a segment today because you thought uh, that would be good. Now let's hear it, Will. Okay, so you prepared some sound effects, and these so, are auditioning sound effects for the mixer. Yeah, so what, what I've been uh, uh, listening to the show and hearing the same sound effects, and I love them, but I'm like, you know, the show could use a little more. Okay. Interesting. So this is going to be the first audition audition for the soundboard here. Hold on, hold Let's on. Let's hear it, Will. I gotta turn my volume up. Here we go. Okay. Wait, play Wait, it again? that was it? Yes. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> I, like, I see that you think it's funny, but I don't, I don't quite <laughs> get, like, is it, you, well, first of all, it's copyright music, so. Well, it's under- but it's, <laughs> it's short. It's not gonna get flagged. It's really short. What song is it? Uh, it's a Young Thug song. Uh, and what do you think that that would be used to accentuate? What would I say that then would be? I don't followed know if a caller is talking about how they're horny. You can play this. <laughs> so will I? Wait, sorry. What? What is being said in the song? Oh, you don't hear him. You don't understand. No, what he's no, I have no idea what he's saying. Okay, he's saying I need a threesome. Oh. Okay, play it again. Okay, exactly. I need a threesome. <laughs> Got it. Now that makes more sense. <laughs> I think that the, the downfall of the effect is that it's hard to hear, but if we slowed it down yeah. and we added some reverb, <laughs> I need a threesome. <laughs> then Honestly, I think, slowed down. That's actually a good note. Uh, yeah, I we think can, that's good. That's for V2. That's yeah. for V2. Okay, okay. Let, let's do the next sound effect. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Okay, so it's Mario, Super Mario saying okie dokie. Like someone yeah. someone could be like, hey, yeah. um, like, can I ask you a question? And then you could be like, okie dokie. So, <laughs> right. 
<laughs> now, to me, that's something I could say myself. But you know, don't you want to uh, have no, that? Because <laughs> you don't have that available at all times. Well, that's a good question. Maybe it's now is as good a time as any. What's the place of a sound effect? Is it to mm. is it to accentuate something I've mm. said, or is it to replace something I've said? Mm. And I just want to say, Will, um, I know it's really hard to pitch creative things. <laughs> you, and you're doing you great, created. sweetie. I don't know that I am doing great. Well, and, and I love, um, I love it for you, and yeah. I and I'm excited for for this next chapter <laughs> of the soundboard. But okay. I want, I just wanted to, yeah. So I guess this would be someone goes and <laughs> get the sound effect ready, so you can as if as going. So I'll be like, somebody be like, hey, can I ask you a question? Okie dokie. <laughs> Come on, that's pretty funny. <laughs> your your laugh is funny to me. Come on, that's pretty funny. Like that, I want to put on the soundboard. Okay, sure, sure. You can clip me. That'd be yeah, fine. Clip well. Um, all right, I do have to get I through. All of, oh, yeah, get, 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 I do have to get through all of them. By the way, Will was worried about time. He goes, "I do have to get through all of them." Okay, go for it. Okay, this one is probably going to be too quiet. I didn't mix it yeah. loud enough. Mm -hmm. Who do you think you are? I am David Wright. Damn it, right? Yeah. And again, like, <laughs> it is good, but I think that what would be better is if it was your voice mm, with reverb. Because, mm -hmm. like, I want it, I, it's hard to hear a little, and yeah, it's clearly yeah, yeah, a reference yeah, yeah, to something yeah, yeah. that I've never seen. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. See, I guess I could have... <laughs> And, but that's okay. I want it to be your voice kind of like trying. So let's see. Let's just do it and we'll just do three, two, one. And who do you think you are? I am. Damn it right. Well, you kind of whispered the last part seemingly, I but I, I did like it better than the other one. And by the way, really good voice acting on the dime. Yeah, on you the dime. You just threw that. Yeah, you turned that around on really the dime. quick. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, okay, we got three more. <laughs> okay, well, three more. Okay, here we go. This one, I actually think you really, this was probably the, the thing that I really think you should include. So this is the this cream is of the, the crop. This is the best one, the cream of the crop, and we're doing it three from the last, but go ahead. It's a very good question, and it's got a very, very clear answer. Just 45 so seconds. So long. Yeah, 45 full <laughs> seconds of, so what are we expected to do when that's playing? No, no. So this we is, are we expected to play? No, no, let's, let's play this out. Okay, let's so what is out. expected okay. to happen here when that sound effect goes, are we supposed to be quiet? Yes. People can talk over it if they want, but you know, this is a, the, yeah. it's only six seconds first sure. of all. Yeah. Um, but so this is how it would go. Like, let's say a caller's like, I don't know, um, should I dump my toxic boyfriend? Yeah, And right. then. You go. It's a very good question. And it's got a very, very clear answer. I'm sleeping. There's I'm falling asleep. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so long. It's, it's, and it's very. very, and very and it, it's so long and there's long pauses. <laughs> it's a very, very, it's like, what am I doing in between? In between there. Okay, this is a good note. ABC yeah. always be mm -hmm. content, Will. <laughs> yeah. I need to be putting I need to be putting content in every millisecond of the data that is the show. So I'm like, what am I supposed to be doing in between? Now, uh, is it fun? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> sure. So you did this this morning, right? Yeah. Right after you sort of did a big toke of uh, uh, yeah, basically of yeah. sweet weed, you said I'm going to make these sound effects. Well, I've been thinking about it for a while, and I've been thinking about which ones I'd want to include. And uh, yeah, I think these are the all stars. This uh, is huge. Okay, now we let's, got two more. Got, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like you are simultaneously trying to speed this along, but also wanting it to linger and go well. And I just love that for you. Go, go for the go for the next one. Okay. Uh, now this go. I actually think would be this is short and good. I think this is also one of the sweet. better ideas I had. One of the better. Okay, hold on. Oh, I thought that's the whole thing. Was, was that like, the whole thing? Oh, okay. It's, it's just it's okay. Just, so because Rainy and I, I want you to pause for a second. <laughs> Rainy and I thought you paused it because it was maybe less than a second long. Yeah, it's really short. It's from no, no, a no, song. No. Uh, it's it's from a Jay Dilla song, and it's somebody going work it. So you could play while you have to like look something up. You know yeah. what I mean? And again, <laughs> I'd rather <laughs> I'd rather you do what you did there when you said working on it. That's what I want. I want you to go working on it. 
And then <laughs> I, I could press that and it's fun. Okay, I mean, yeah, yeah. I, you know, I'm happy to be sort of an in person Michael Winslow, you know, with this sound effects. Interesting. Uh, Don't know who that is. Uh, he's the guy who did, like makes the, the windshield wiper sounds with this voice. Uh, on, oh, like, Foley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is Foley. Yeah. Uh, okay, final clip. <laughs> This one's the this one's the longest. This, this is the longest, the longest? Yes. Yeah. longer than fucking yeah. very very good or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Here okay. we go. Okay. So, so whenever somebody brings up a financial question, um, you can just play it. I can. Well, now here's what I want to say is yeah. a lot of people, I think, don't take my job seriously. And they think I sort of just mm -hmm. chat all day or like they're well, like, oh, well, you're, you know, you're just making TikToks, blah, blah, blah. It's yeah, like sure. not that hard. What's hard about working in the creative field yeah. is exactly what you just did. Yeah, right where you have to come up with an idea, pitch it to people, and then they totally don't get it. And it is actually pretty emotionally hard. You know, here's what I'll say. I do think my audience isn't going to like a man yelling. So your prerogative here is to, in a way, save time. Yes. So I You're don't, saving huh. a lot of time. <laughs> a lot of long discussion time. Bam, yeah. play this clip. We've got it. And then we I hang it. up the call. That's right. <laughs> it's about money, Dick, for tw 10 minutes, it feels like, of a sound effect. <laughs> and then I end the call. And do you think that people are going to be satisfied by that? They called into the show. I just play a sound and then out. Maybe. <laughs> now that is one of my new sound effects will yeah that one's really although good. i do appreciate all your pitches but you know what i'll say what i think we got a lot of ideas on the table a lot of irons in the fire <laughs> what was your favorite one <laughs> i mean there's so many good ones it's it's almost hard to pick a favorite um i guess like if we're talking about ones that i remember mm -hmm. It's about money, Dick. Yeah, that was the last it's one from, we did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the last one we did. You were sort of like really stoked on that. I mean, yeah, that one, maybe the, um, again, like I liked when you said it mm -hmm. and I mm -hmm. wanted that in because it was sort of like, it was like clar clarity. Mm -hmm. So let's just get a couple in and actually while we're doing this, maybe I can get a couple ones from you clean. Yeah. Okay. Clean, just get it clean for the audio so I can add it to the soundboard. So my version of the sound effects that I was, I was pitching. Yeah. Can I get you and you're going to say what you talking about Willis? Oh, here we go. Good. And let's just get it clean and three, two, one. What you talking about Willis? And I want to get and do it again. <laughs> Because it seems like we didn't get clean, and I want to get a little more. I want to get a little more animated here. I think it was clean. I think well, it was, I don't think it was clean. But three, two, one. What you talking about, Willis? I, now there wasn't. Now there wasn't really. A, it wasn't really a question. I feel like you said it as a statement, but I just wanted one more time as okay. a question. And three, two, one. You talking to me, Willis? <laughs> That's going on the soundboard. <laughs> you talking to me, Willis? <laughs> and, uh, that's and that's Will. You've honestly you've done it. That's going on the soundboard. All right, I got it. <laughs> now I've got a couple sound effects here that I'm just going to debut. Yeah, please. Ooh. Um, uh, that I'm excited about. First of all, we got this one. That one's great. That's the beginning of a song. What song is that? It's just a gunshot. <gasps> it's a fart. <laughs> it's a fart with reverb. <laughs> Do you think it's a gun? It sounds like a gunshot. <laughs> Will. Oh, it's for TikTok sound. Yeah. And then they pretend to fart. Yeah. Oh, sure. There we go. Mm, are you somebody who likes to have cash? Uh, yeah. I think that, that applies to my situation because I'm sort of a cash king and I want to have more coins in my purse. Well, guess what? Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, actually, and it monitors your spending and it helps you lower your bills. All in one place. Yeah, what I said was right. 
You're going to be able to know where your cash is flowing and going, and you're going to be able to cancel subscriptions for stuff you don't use anymore. My biggest selling point for Rocket Money is when I logged in to the freaking thing, I was able to cancel a subscription or two that saved me the cost of just paying for Rocket Money. Basically, I got it gratis, but it was because I already was paying for dumb stuff that I forgot about on a weird credit card that I didn't even look at that much. And whose fault is that? Mine. And whose solution is that? It's Rocket Money's. Yeah. Over 80% of people have subscriptions they forgot about, and the chances are you're one of them. Rocket Money will quickly and easily find the subscriptions for you, and for any you don't want to pay for anymore, just hit cancel, and Rocket Money will cancel it for you. Stop throwing your money away, cancel unwanted subscriptions, and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash perfect person. That's rocketmoney.com slash perfect person. Rocketmoney.com slash perfect person. I obviously have a little baby, and that means that I'm a sleepy little guy. And in our house, yeah, we're thinking about getting rest. Well, guess what? Being restful is kind of what makes you live longer. If you get enough sleep, you could last a hundred, maybe even a thousand more years than you were originally going to do if you were sleepy. Well, the new and improved second generation hatch rest makes sleep better and more magical for your entire family. The all-in-one hatch rest is a smart sleep device with a sound machine and nightlight that grows with your kids. Yeah. I've been using the hatch since way before they were a sponsor of the podcast. Let me just tell you that I'm basically making a lagoon in my bedroom. For the last several months, really, we have had a hatch rest in our bedroom playing sounds that are rain. We've got the blinds on the windows so it's extra dark so the baby can nap, and we don't ever turn it off. So that room is a lagoon 24 seven. And now you're wondering why, <laughs> you're wondering how, what is this gonna help me do? Well, basically little babies need that sound to sleep. And it's been really nice to have this little nightlight thing that I can adjust the colors on. I can adjust the sound profile. Right now, Hatch is offering our listeners up to 15% off your purchase of a Hatch rest and free shipping at hatch.co slash perfect person. So if you're ready for improved sleep for your kids and yourself, go to hatch.co slash perfect person to get up to 15% off and free shipping. That's hatch.co slash perfect person. Now, obviously, guys, the phones are fucking ringing off the hook, and they have been for a while. Mm -hmm. Well, how, how's your headspace? I feel great. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I came here to, yeah. to play some of my favorite clips and sort of see what the reaction would be. Yeah, and right. I feel like, yeah. you know, ultimately, maybe I didn't get sort of the juice that I wanted, you know, the reaction. Right. But it was still funny to watch the, yeah. the, the reaction. So, sure. uh, you time. know, at the end of the day, we're all just human beings. And you learn something. And you learn <laughs> At the end of the day, true words have never been spoken, man. At the end of the day, we're all just human beings, and Will's doing his best here, and, and we're so proud of him. That's right. We're so proud of our boy. But um, mm -hmm. Will, the phones are ringing off the hook, obviously. Right. People already know why you guys are on the show because you're obviously flawless. Mm -hmm. You've proven it time and time again <laughs> that you sure. that you deserve <laughs> to be here to take the calls to answer the people to tell them how the, how it is. But people know this. But if you like the show, you can rate it on Spotify and you can subscribe on Spotify, on Apple Podcasts, wherever you use on YouTube. If you're subscribed on you, if you watch the show on YouTube. Pop a little subscribe so you get notified of new episodes. And if you love the show, you can consider joining me on Patreon. We have exclusive ad-free uh, episodes of the show that are extended with an additional cold open where we really ran the gamut this morning. Oh, yeah. I talked about all sorts of things. I spilled a secret about my friend's rent. Honestly, that you, that you is should go an to you, you know, you're gonna really save funny money. There's some good stuff in that. There's in some that. really juicy stuff there. Yeah. And uh, obviously, there's also platinum episodes that come out every single Friday. Um, we just did the Cranberry Spectacular. I did the 420 <laughs> Bong cast. <Yeah. laughs> there's a lot of good stuff in there. Um, but let's get to the phone lines so we can help the people get to where they need to go. I really like hearing you just uh, you like dive wholeheartedly into your dumb show concepts. It's so great. <laughs> it, 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 I it's, find that that's like the most fun part is 100%. to just come up with a word. I mean, similarly with the Dua Leap, it's like good yes. to have <laughs> yes. like it's the same this. Thing. It's just yeah. if you have a title to it or whatever, it's 100%. really fun. 
Okay, here we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Miles, I lost my fucking keys. And okay, I live on I live on campus, so like on college campus. So I have a dorm, mm-hmm. and it's three hundred. Like I heard, it's like three hundred twenty-five dollars to replace my dorm. Oh, and I've literally <laughs> retraced my steps. I've asked like every single desk, but it lost and found. Yeah, I can't fucking find them. Mm-hmm. And I, it's not like I was irresponsible and left them somewhere. They're attached to my wallet on like a key ring. And I oh, last no. night I went to unlock my door, and the, it was gone from my key ring. So I still mm. have my entire key ring attached to my wallet. It just flew off of my key ring at some point, and I have no idea where they are, and I'm mm. freaking out. So, yeah, I just want some reassurance. Okay, bye. Okay, so... This she is says a, she just wants reassurance, but we're going to find these keys. We're going to find these fucking keys. <laughs> have you checked under the sofa? <laughs> <laughs> this is a great question. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really... It's inciting a lot of... Thanks me for me. I mean, it's happening. Yeah. Hello? Hello, you called perfect person, and the Wrecking Ball crew Holy is here to man, call what? you back. <laughs> no fucking way. Holy shit. No, this is, I. okay, I'm fucking on a podcast right now. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, hold on. I'm on a podcast. Um, uh, th- my well, friend just turned to me and was like, did they find the key? <laughs> <laughs> we, oh my gosh. Well, we're going to help you find the keys is the whole yeah. thing. Because we are, we okay, are. Okay, that's what I need. That's what I need. We need to hear a little bit about you. So you obviously have been tra- mm-hmm. trace your steps. Now, just uh, like off the top of my head, I'm thinking if <laughs> you checked under the bed. <laughs> under the bed. Okay. You that's didn't. Interesting. Sorry, you didn't check no, under the what? bed. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. okay. Okay. Here's here's my reasoning. I lost it sometime between the afternoon and evening, which I was not in my room at all. Oh. I found about. And this is a physical key. This isn't like a, um, a, a card. Yeah. Yeah, it's a physical key. Mm. <clears throat> well, I, I had a <laughs> I had a situation in college where I uh, was gonna have to pay fifty dollars, not three hundred twenty five. Like that's highway. That's robbery. crazy. Yeah. Uh, they gotta get some. <laughs> they gotta update this technology here. Because uh, yeah. who cares if you lose a key card? But I, in college, I was carrying around a loose key um, for a while and I couldn't find oh my it. God. Psychotic, and by the way. To carry around a loose key at all is just like <laughs> really crazy. Like that, it's gonna, That's insane. It's going to get lost so easy. Well, and so it did get lost and I was like, fuck, I'm going to have to pay $50 to get this key and I really oh. don't want to. And I was like making people like let me in. Uh, oh, yeah. And yeah. Then, but then I did laundry and bam, if you won't be damned if I pull open the dryer <laughs> and my key doesn't pop yeah. Right out. Whoa. So, uh, my recommendation for you would be to do laundry. <laughs> so, I think you should do your laundry. First okay. Of all. Do you have a roommate also? Okay. Um, I do, but she's rarely around. Okay, but that's huge because she has a key. So, honestly, you could take her key and replicate it and not pay three hundred twenty-five. Here's the thing. Uh oh. Unfortunately, <laughs> there's probably a thing on the key because it's from the university that says do not replicate. Oh. Because I just remember that was kind of on my yeah. dorm key, so yeah. it's like, hey, by the way, don't do this. But yeah. here, but I think that you're I, on. I was to, about to say you're on something with a roommate situation. Yeah. I think that there's probably a world where you can tell a little fib that's going to get you the key to get into your home. Mm -hmm. Something along the lines of my key fell in between the elevator shaft. It's kind of the university's fault. Something along the lines of like, I know what happened. I didn't lose it. Yeah. But Mm. it got stuck in the door Mm -hmm. and fucking broke off. Yes. And you could make a fake key. Yeah. Yeah. You break a key (laughs) and then you say, like, I think that there's something where you can just be like, I had the worst day. My bag was stolen. Now, does this break okay. code of conduct at a university? That's up to you to decide. But yeah. 325 bucks, that's you go to a that's, music festival with that money. Those are big smackers. <laughs> so you could you go to a music festival. And then similar to Miles is under the bed thing. Have you taken everything out of your backpack or bag or whatever you use piece by piece and put it all um, back? Okay. So this, this is going to keep getting worse. But the day I lost my key, I wasn't carrying anything with me except for my wallet, my keys, and my phone. And your wallet? And, the, huh. and how did you store those things? Were they in your pocket or a bag? Yeah, they were in my pocket. So my keys are attached to my wallet. And I had my wallet in my pocket. Did you pay for anything? Ooh. What? <laughs> I've cracked the case. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little sleuth, actually. A PI on the zone. 
But no, my question was, did you buy anything taking your wallet out of the purse? And that, Your Honor, that the jury might be where the key has gone. You pay for a little coffee and uh, the bagel. (laughs) Multiple times I did take my my wallet out. But the thing is, I've gone to all of those individual places and asked them if they've seen my key. Interesting. And they said no, but there was a little bit of a suspicion. Yeah. (laughs) And you sort of scanned around the floor. I love what this podcast has become, by the way. <laughs> so you've looked on the floor. <laughs> and you've checked all your pockets, right? <laughs> Have you called your mom? I did call my mom and she was surprisingly nice about it. <laughs> no, I, mean, I, I, I wasn't, not like, to, but because I usually call my mom and she tells me where it is. Nikki. <laughs> I love that as a president. Yeah. <laughs> I usually call my mom and she tells me. I called my mom and I was like, I lost my keys. I don't know where they are. She's like, oh, did you like check anywhere? Mm-hmm. And I was like, I've checked everywhere. And she's like, oh, okay. I guess you're just going to have to pay for it. Yeah. I mean, 325 so, smackers is a pretty big amount of money. Yeah. Now, what Here's else? the other thing you could do. What's that? Now, <clears throat> this is a little more emotionally tumultuous, so it's up to you. Um, but obviously, you feel bad. Mm. You could go. You could lie, like Miles said, or you could just tell the truth and work yourself into an emotional frenzy. You cry in the office. They probably don't make you pay. Uh, yeah, if you weep, they may give you a free key. Depends. Yeah. It depends. See, the depends. thing is, I don't. I don't know who I need to weep to. <laughs> Where would you go to get the key? Would it be your RA or would it be like the front office or something like that? I would t- it would be to the housing office, but the person who works at the housing office is just like an underpaid another underpaid college student. So I don't think weeping to them would actually like right. I don't think you they need have to get, you need to weep to the manager. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Which means so you kind of have to be a Karen. Let me talk to your manager. Yeah. Well, you need, just need to be like, look, I, because again, I, if it was me, I, I don't love lying, even though I think it would, this would be a totally white lie. Like, this is a college that presumably has an endowment. Yeah. Like, they have the money for this. What? Yeah, uh, that's interesting. The, the expensive fee is meant to be a deterrent to college students just like being really careless, but uh, it seems high to me. Here's, uh, here's you're already what paying I, tuition. Like, why should you have to pay 325 Because you... Yeah. Freakishly yeah. lost your key That's on accident, and it's like finals week. Ugh. Oh my god! Oh, you he- can't. Don't even worry about this. Just have your roommate like leave the door unlocked for the finals week and yeah. then deal with it after. That's, it. that's what we've been doing. Okay, good. Also, like I'm trying to remember. I don't think I gave my key back at the end of the year. Like when I. Oh, like, you didn't? Maybe oh, I was supposed to. Right. Like where the who the you fuck really would I have, have done that? Who would I have given it to? I can't even remember. I think the RA. Oh, there's supposed to be like a whole <laughs> sign out process where you. Yeah. Like, Did you yeah. not sign out? Or else they, <laughs> you not they, they make you pay a fee. I have to I go think. sign out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you're I still did. enrolled in college. I'm if you never s- signed out. Still technically a student. No, I think that also yeah. a, 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 one thing you could do is a little word loophole. Okay, mm. wordle much? <laughs> you could go in and say my key stopped working. That's not really oh. a lie because it did stop huh. working <laughs> because you lost but they'll it. They'll probably be like, "Give us the key," and, and you yeah. say, "I'd one. rather not." That's a private <laughs> matter. That's that's, that's actually fly. really personal to me. That's actually for real personal to me, and I'd like you to respect my boundary. For that to work, for that to work, I would have had to have like snap the key in half. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, then you would just go to the office. You wouldn't even for be something. calling in with this problem. Because here's the thing: if you yeah. find the right person to talk to, there's absolutely someone who can be like, "Yeah, we'll just give you a key." Because three hundred twenty-five dollars to a college to a university mm-hmm. is chump change. They're yeah. charging way more for tuition. Mm-hmm. And yeah. So so I. I, I feel very comfortable in saying that whether you lie, whether you cry, however you got to get out of this, you can do it. Okay. I've got a story that sort of expands this into a bigger yeah. conceptual issue Framework? that has nothing to do with this. <laughs> Framework. Yeah. Space. Space. And so I went, I, I was in freshman year college, took a shower, forgot to leave my door unlocked, forgot to take my key. So then I'm <laughs> locked out in a towel and I have to get the RA. And <laughs> 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 and the RA, um, so there's two RAs in my building. One is still one of my best friends. Talked to him like two nights ago. Really? Shout out Tom. Yeah. Huge he shout was out. the worst RA. He literally would like go to Pittsburgh like when he was on duty and just call in from there. But <laughs> <laughs> you call in. On he would duty. just call in on duty and be like, hopefully nothing really bad happens. That's so funny. But anyway, that's Tom. 
And then there was another one, Zach. And I used to think Zach was so hot. <gasps> so I had to go to Zach and I was like, um, I, in my towel. <laughs> oh my God. That's so funny. <laughs> and be like, I, my key is in my dorm room, but I like am locked out. And so we just sort of sat in this common room together and it was just like too much for me at the time. I was like, I couldn't, I couldn't finesse it. You were in your towel and you had to sit in a common room with your RA? Yeah. That's like kind of devastating. Yeah. <laughs> like, also, why wouldn't they be like, oh, we probably have clothes. Like, oh, he did not offer me clothes. Like, you think no he had a crush? Be- <laughs> How long were you in a towel? <laughs> not that long. He just had to call. Like, I mean, there's spare keys everywhere. That's the thing. That's why they should not be calling you $325. Yeah. It's just there as a deterrent. It's just like yeah. the college doesn't actually care about this money. If you find the right person to cry to, lie to, or just be honest and be like, please help okay. me. Yeah. Someone will help you. Yeah. I think so. Because this yeah. is the thing. Cry, this cry is a, and lie. Yeah. Cry, lie, or uh, beg. Yeah. <laughs> I find that begging is a really good option. <laughs> <laughs> please, 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 please. I don't know. The bureaucracy at the school, they hate me. <laughs> well, yeah. you also probably, if you go to the right lock person and you just say, look, just fucking duplicate the key. I know it says don't, but if you do it, mm-hmm. I'll for real give you an extra dollar or something. I'll tip you. I'll tip you. I'll okay. Venmo you directly. How about I Venmo this you is, directly? This is weird, but I am friends with a locksmith apprentice. Oh my God. <laughs> Obviously, that was the good option. <laughs> Thank you for calling in. Okay, he's like some freaking high schooler. Like, I'm sure he's going to be like, oh, I'm scared I'll lose my job. Because he straight up told me that, like, he's not allowed to replicate. You know a Jesse Pinkman style locksmith (laughs) that's willing to go do whatever it takes to get the lock done? You're you got you to be doing that, by the way. And thank you for calling in. I think that, yeah, we gave you a lot of good gems here. Mm-hmm. And Good really, luck finding your keys. But here's the thing. As somebody who loses things all the time, yeah. it's not a referendum on you. Oh, no. A person. no. You, you honestly sound like you're very careful and you and you lost it anyway. Mm-hmm. I've lost keys. Uh, Left, I've right, lost, center. Me too. I've lost wallets. So many wallets. From three losers to, to another. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, you know, you're going fi- to start finding the stuff that you lost. And um, I find that uh, an air tag is also good. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. By the way, that was the easy advice. I'll, I'll look into it. Okay. Thank you for oh, calling me. By the in. way, who am, I, who, am I, wait, who am I talking to? This is the Wrecking Ball crew. <laughs> Did you not know? Sorry. <laughs> is this Rainy? Yeah, this is Rainy yes. and Will. That's right. Known as, known notoriously. <laughs> well, notorious. Well, somewhat known as <laughs> Notorious <laughs> Wrecking Ball crew. <laughs> I don't know how notorious it really is. It's something you <laughs> say on the show. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is Rainy and Will, and um, uh, oh my gosh, yeah. But w- thanks for calling in, and oh, you have a fantastic huge, huge day. Fan. Well, Thank you so much. All right, bye. bye. Okay, so I just have to really quick do the. I did. I laid the groundwork for my story, but I haven't actually sort of opened it up to the car <laughs> that what? I wanted to sort of. What's that? Up, <laughs> which is sitting with a RA. Yeah, he lets me in. It's over. But now here I am eight yeah. minutes late or eight minutes, eight years later. Yeah. And I'm like, I can't believe I thought he was hot. He's like the most Connecticut, like a button up, oh. boring guy Whoa. that I don't even am not attracted to at all. It's and power. I just think it's interesting how types can change. Was well, it also the, like the power scenario of like, this is an older person who kind of knows, oh. the, knows the university better. Mm-hmm. You're sort of newer to the university. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'll say right now, <laughs> me and my RA kissed. <laughs> Not to kiss and tell. <laughs> we absolutely did. All right, let's listen to this voicemail here. Hello, Miles. Okay, this is a very stressful question for me. So, I recently started dating this guy. Turns out he's a drug dealer. My parents found out I hate him, but I'm in love with him. And I need your advice on how I can get my parents to love my drug dealing boyfriend just as much as me. Thank you. Just as much as her. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. So I'm going to need a lot more details. Like what type of drugs is he dealing? Because that's going to be a big definer of my response. (laughs) He sort of deals in large quantities to the Middle East. (laughs) Fent. Straight Fent. Yeah. He deals bath salts to teens. (laughs) Oh my God. DEA, open up. (laughs) (laughs) Don't you dare. You called Perfect Person and I'm here to call you back. I'm here with the Wrecking Ball crew, Will and Rainy. (laughs) 
Ciao. Ciao. Oh, hell yeah. Ciao. <laughs> Honestly, the Wrecking Ball group maybe should be rebranded to something like European. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here with the Baguette Sisters. <laughs> and we go, D. And we go, ciao. Ciao. So tell us about your boyfriend. What type of drugs is he dealing and what's your situation? Okay, so he used to be a way bigger drug dealer than he is now. And so <laughs> are you saying that to make us impress? <laughs> but no, I have been dating this guy for about three months. Right. And prior to us becoming exclusive and like me being his girlfriend, I didn't really know that he was a drug dealer. And <laughs> 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 he used to, back in the day, deal a lot harder drugs than what he does now. And where I'm from, it's not like weed isn't legal. I have no issue with it. I'll dabble. I'll sure. have a good time. You know, gotcha. I like to party. Mm-hmm. But um, he used to deal like way harder stuff. Tough. And when you say way harder stuff, I'm guessing you mean like felony level <laughs> drugs, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, gotcha. So, and right. but you're saying he just deals weed now in a state where it's not legal, right? So he's 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 not selling fent and, anymore. He's not selling bath salts. He's not selling any of the good stuff. He's, are you sure he's um, not Jesse Pinkman no, it on no, the no, side? No. no, like he's not selling coke no more. Like he he's clear of that. It's just you know the devil's lettuce these okay. days. Okay, okay, great. All right. Yeah, I mean, weed doesn't bother me. Although this person does clearly have a sordid past. Um, but tell me why yeah. your parents don't like him. So my parents are super like straight and narrow, conservative folk, you know, Christian. Sure. Yeah. They uh, found out about this because my brother and his wife smoke a lot of fucking pot. <laughs> and my boyfriend is their dealer. Oh, got it. And, and I didn't know this. And so they ratted my boyfriend out <gasps> to my parents. Do not bite and, the hand that feeds you. Yeah, that's crazy. That's yeah. so weird. Right? And I'm like, fuck you guys. You're going to do me dirty like that? So I don't really know what to do because my parents, I really want them to like him because I really feel like I could go somewhere with this guy. Okay. Because he's like, he tells me he'll stop dealing drugs if I really want him to. But I'm like, I don't know. You do your thing, brother. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just, I don't know how to try to convince my parents that he's not like, a pile of shit and it's not as bad as they think it is. Yeah, I mean, it seems like, okay, if I'm a parent and I live in a state where it's not legal, I'm probably not caring because marijuana is legal so many parts of this, you know, Mm -hmm. of the world, but also even just the country. We live in California. It does not matter here at all. Uh, That being said, I'm guessing that what they're worried about is just the risk factor. Mm -hmm. Now, I would imagine that probably the way into their hearts, into their farts, (laughs) into their souls, (laughs) is is to tell them about your boyfriend's aspirations. So Mm -hmm. I find that for anybody, like, you know, like I knew a time, like Will said, all the interesting white people we know. Yeah. (laughs) I'm telling you. I mean, everybody in my high school pretty much at one point sold pot. Even if it's just yeah. like selling some to your friend once. It's yeah. Like, like the, I mean, it's a broad definition, but yeah. like, I think it's pretty <clears throat> harmless. I think that like, especially if you're the people who ratted you out are smoking his weed and yeah. they like, like, why are your parents not mad at them too? I think they you know? are mad at them, but it's easier to be mad at your boyfriend than mad at them. Maybe. Mm, yeah. yeah that's probably right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, it's like, they want to be like, Hey, don't do this thing. Cause they, mm-hmm. they're conservative and they're afraid of this thing, but like that they don't totally understand. Uh, hmm. But yeah, I don't know. I think it's hard uh, to to like do the hard sell on somebody mm-hmm. in this way. I think the what your parents really want to know is like, does this person make you happy? Like, is this like working for you? And so I think you have to find some ways to showcase for them yeah. like why it's working for you. Mm-hmm. And you don't need to be like, you need mm-hmm. to like this person as much as I do, but you need to make sure they understand that this is like 
I mean, it's still a pretty new relationship, three months, but like so far it's yeah. going well. You feel like you're being treated well. And like, mm-hmm. you want them to understand that, like that, that, you know, that, he, that this is just a guy's own weed. Like, come on. I think if you can tell them like, oh, but what he wants to do is this, he's working yes. towards being yes. this, this is a stepping stone to allow him to live until he can get, uh, you know, something mm-hmm. that's going to provide him for more money and more security that might I be. I think that's a good pitch, but legal. if he doesn't have like a big aspiration, I think the, the way I to make, make it up. Yeah. <laughs> I think make it up. Right. He well, wants to be a I fucking mean, painter. <laughs> he has a whole ass job. Like he has a whole nother job. He just does this on the side. Okay. So oh, what are we even talking gig. about? What's his job? Um, he owns uh, and works for like a uh, construction business. There we go. He has a fucking stable so job. So here's the thing. Yeah. Well, you have to, what your parents, yeah. you have to say, hey, squares to your parents. It's listen up. Uh, yeah, listen up, squares. <laughs> it's, Big time. Because, like, Quirin. weed is legal in so many places that it's, like, pretty passe, I think, yeah. uh, in a lot of ways. And, like, your parents have the fear because it is illegal where you live. Like, yeah, right. if it was legal, they wouldn't like it anyway, but yeah. they wouldn't be able to, like, actually come to you and be like, this is bad, you mm-hmm. know? Yeah. So somebody selling right. some weed on the side when they have a regular job is, like, to me, so harmless. And, like, like you said... He maybe used to deal more things, but it sounds like he's gone more on the straight and narrow. Yeah. And so you just have to find ways of showing your parents that and that like this is a person you like. But I wouldn't give him the hard sell. I wouldn't actually sit him down and say, hey, Squares, he just sells weed. Shut up. But that's kind of how I feel. I mean, I th- kind of feel uh, how I feel is like, would it be different if you worked at a bar? Like, no. Like, mm-hmm. ultimately, like, yeah, that's a good argument. Like, it's like, uh, no. even though it is legal, but it's like, yeah, he can work at a bar and be over serving people that are then driving. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? It's just it's the same flavor of a different thing. And ultimately, probably they just want to know that uh, he's like a savory character. Right. Yes, that's what they really want to know. But if you can mm-hmm. show them that based on who he is, then that's great. Because, um, yeah, it's like it doesn't really matter what people do. People got to do a lot of stuff to survive. Yeah, yeah. And, and I think, yeah, like I think the bar thing is a really good example because if, if it was just like, hey, uh, I, I got to pick up some extra shifts at the bar to make yeah. some extra cash, like your parents wouldn't really think. Maybe they would judge it internally, but they would never come to you about it. Yeah. You know, It also depends uh, on what quantity of marijuana yeah. that he is dealing. Yeah, that's also a good question. If he's dealing small amounts of pot, that's like, oh, a side thing from his construction, that's fine. If he's like meeting up at the border to get several pounds <laughs> and like a sawed off shotgun no. in his glove compartment. No, no, no. Yeah, that's like a different story. If they were coming to you and this guy had been like treating you badly and they were talking about it, that's a different story. But I don't, that's not what you're saying. You're saying right, you love right. him and that like, no, he treats he you great. He is literally a complete angel. He is the sweetest, the best. He yeah, yeah. then that's yeah. Then like, you just gotta leave. If with there's that. no red flags at all, if you're just like I, this guy is only nice to me, and then then you just have to find ways for your parents to see that. Uh, and you know maybe you can even lie and say like he well he's fully stopped selling weed because he still has a job. You know, like I, I, yeah. There's there's ways around this. Uh, yeah, I think you just got to lead with the best foot and show them why you like him. Maybe talk about his aspirations to be sort of the king of construction. Yes. <laughs> the king of home renovation. That's like, absolutely right. Next time they need their bathroom redone, he's their guy. Oh, oh. If, he, if he goes in their bathroom and just goes, by the way, I could clean this puppy up with some tile. That's what I'm saying. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I love him. Because my guess is they haven't met him and maybe they don't need to yet because it's still so early. But mm-hmm. I think you can sort of to make this battle because it will be a little bit of a battle. Just like show th- showcase him in ways of like, look at yeah. this thoughtful thing he did or like, you know, whatever. Just so your parents understand, this is not like, yeah, guy with the sawed off shotgun. This is just some somebody's making a little extra cash. Love is war. Thanks for calling yeah. in. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. <laughs> didn't make any sense <laughs> well you said it's going to be a bit of a battle and i was sort of saying love is war and all is fair and all is fair in love and war <laughs> and if you need your parents to love your drug dealing boyfriend then that's also war well yeah decency will prevail <laughs> let's take a, <laughs> one final call here from someone named emily hey miles um uh, my name is emily and i have a like Am I the asshole Love situation problem that I need help with involving my mother-in-law and my daughter's first birthday <gasps> and um, a surprise, we Uh-oh. will call it. Um, I don't know. I think I'm just going to leave it as a uh, 
cliffhanger there and see if uh, you want to help me because it's a doozy. I tell you what. So call me back. Uh, help me, please. <laughs> Bye. I will say I, I love the cliffhanger. I do think that's a good way to get a call back on the show. Oh, uh, yeah. That's a way to wet my whistle. That's my, consider my whistle soaked. <laughs> consider my whistle. <laughs> In terms of my whistle? It's so Hello? It's, hello. You called perfect person. Oh, my. And you left me a juicy Hi. little cliffhanger that has my whistle soaked. Oh, good. I'm here with the Wrecking Ball crew. Ciao. 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 Ciao, Bella. Ciao, Bella. <laughs> Tell us about the juicy and the, the asshole situation. Okay. Well, um, should I just dive in? Yeah. Dive, yeah. Head honey. first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, so my daughter just turned one. Okay. Um, this past down Monday. Um, look at me being a good mom. Um, <laughs> and we had her family. Yeah, casual. Um, we had her family party on Sunday, so we invited all of the grandparents to our house, and it was, I guess, an unspoken what I thought understanding that that was going to be the grandparents time with um, my daughter okay. um, because her birthday was Monday. Um, my husband and I both took off work and we went to our local zoo and spent the whole day with her. Uh, and that's so very cute. not typical. I know, right? It's pretty adorable. Um, but <laughs> it's not typically, like, we don't typically get to take off work for her. So yeah. here's where things get tricky. <clears throat> So my mother-in-law is our child care. Um, she comes to our home every workday and spends a day with our child. Mm. And it's lovely because it's, it's free. Um, oh, yeah. So we're saving thousands of dollars <laughs> a month. On, yeah, it's expensive. Buckle up. Um, it's a good time. But um, <laughs> so we told her uh, at the party, we we're like, don't worry about coming on Monday. Like, we're good. We're going to take her to the zoo. It's going to be all good. Like, have your day. Enjoy your time. Have a treat yourself day. So we go to the zoo. It's like 9.45 in the morning. The zoo had opened at 9. So we're pulling up. We have our little pass, and we're going up to the gate. And um, from behind the pillar, I see oh. I see someone waiting, oh boy. Um, peeking peeking out and I'm like oh okay like whatever and lo and behold it was her waiting to surprise us at the zoo and my husband and I had told her we're like we're so excited for this family time like family of three we're expecting another one um in July so we're like soaking up this family oh, wow. time. Uh -huh. yeah yeah we're just popping them out uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was really awkward to like afterwards when we were like walking around the zoo with her like she could tell that we were like not necessarily happy with the situation yeah and then since it's been weird and i just don't know like i feel bad for like being i hate to use the word like bitchy but like <laughs> i don't want to seem ungrateful <laughs> but like you know, like I would like my time with my kid. Yeah. And obviously like having helicopter grandma is better than having like grandma who's not around. But I just don't know how to like establish boundaries with her, I guess. I guess that's the root of my issue. Okay, got it. Now it seems like, like also So she what was your what did you say when you first saw her? Were you like, Oh, oh. <laughs> Well, okay. Um, so I turned to my husband and under my breath, I said, there goes family time. Um, and, then I didn't, I know, and, then I, and then I didn't make eye contact with her, nor did I say words. You so didn't talk to her. Because well, you were frustrated and you knew that if you opened your mouth, was, you might say something I, else. Yeah. Yes. 
icing yes, out your exactly. mommy-in-law. Yeah. <laughs> I think that... <laughs> yeah, there's your title. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm always looking for it. I'm on the hunt. I mean, I think that probably what, like, here's what I'll say. Hindsight being 2020, 2040 even. 2023. Mm. <laughs> Hindsight being mm-hmm. 2023. This is really good. I was... <laughs> I would say the next time, maybe a way to go about it is you see your mother-in-law. Mm. She's fucking posted up behind the pillar <laughs> and you just say, yeah, she's ready. Hey, oh my gosh. So sorry. Like maybe we had a miscommunication. Why don't we meet you for lunch? We're going to go enjoy the zoo. Mm-hmm. What, mm-hmm. Did you have to travel mm-hmm. for the zoo? Was it like in an odd location or was it near? Um, near? No, it's near our home. So like that yeah. was good, but she had to travel. Like she <laughs> drove like. Just because she does. <laughs> Oh, we're getting some baby. Sorry. No, no, oh, it's, it's good. so it's cute. Child. Baby yeah. noises. If uh, if someone does a favor for you, you don't owe them anything. Yeah. Uh, and I think she think that like yeah. you owe them gratitude. Yeah. But you do not owe them a favor. Like that is not how the that is not how the chain of niceness well, goes. If I, I buy you a coffee and I say, oh, I wanted to buy you a coffee, I don't then get to later 100%. be like. You, well, I actually bought you the coffee. And yeah. It's like, no, that's yeah. not w- w- that's your choice. Yeah. yeah, I think gifts or favors yeah. that are not freely offered, that are offered with some sort of like string, nefarious strings are bad. I do think though that there's sort of a, a tit for tat thing where it's like it, what it's what it really is is there's not an exact accounting of who owes who what. Yeah. But if somebody does you a favor and then they right. ask you for a favor, mm-hmm. it's like you are, I think, some in some ways more obligated to do that favor for them. If they ask you, if for they a ask favor. you for a favor, I think yeah. that the problem. Yeah, but it doesn't need to be an exact accounting. It doesn't need exactly. to be like, uh, you uh, You bought me a coffee, so I'm buying you a, a pastry. A muffin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And unfortunately, we live in a in a country where we have very shitty, like childcare is so expensive and yeah. you, you it, it, there is a real financial value here. But I, I, I don't think that she's done anything so terrible. Uh, I disagree. <laughs> yeah. I fully disagree with that. No, no, I, think she I she am the asshole. No, no, no. No, 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 no. I mean, sorry. Okay. I mean okay. the grandma. The grandma. Okay. I don't think you've done anything terrible. Oh, okay. I think that grandma okay. has overstepped in a way. She overstepped for sure. Big time. Yeah. And I think that like okay. for her also, I think that sometimes older people can use their sort of, um, like she showed up knowing that you guys probably wouldn't tell her to go. Yeah. Well, that's like, the thing yeah. is she you know didn't I mean? text. Right. She there was no Correct. communication to yeah. be like, "Hey, like I'm what time are you going to the zoo?" Like you guys had no idea, right? Yeah. Correct. Cuz yes. I'm thinking when people don't ask, a lot of times yeah. they know the answer and they're pushing past oh, it. Oh, 100%. Yeah. No, they're that's just, 100% what happened. Yeah. I don't dispute any of that. Yeah. I just I just think that like uh it, like it, it I guess it depends on what her other behavior is. Like if, is is she doing this kind of sort of petty gamesmanship all the time yeah. and pushing boundaries? Because if that's the case, you do need to establish one. Or is this just like a once in a while thing? As a sort of new daddy, time is very, mm-hmm. uh, you know, it, it, there's not much of it. It's a high value. Yeah. It's a high value uh, yeah. thing. Yeah. So being like, we wanted to have this day and you have it in your head and you show up and it's like, wait, like this yeah. is one time yeah. that we don't normally get to be able to have time all together as a family. So it's like, that's tough. And I mean, right. I think some yeah. other people would have said, like your husband could have said directly said, hey, we want to do this. He could have yeah. had that conversation there, uh-huh. but I, I totally understand not. Well, and he <laughs> did say at the zoo, he was like, oh, like, she's like, are you excited to see me? And he was like, well, we were kind of hoping to have like a family. Of three. Like he did kind of say something, but she did still hang Whoa. around for like two hours. So what did she say? Know. Was she like, oh, but, yeah. <laughs> just yeah. us. <laughs> did he say? Did he say this place is a real zoo? <laughs> uh, no, missed opportunity. Bi- I'll tell like, him next time. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> big time missed opportunity. Honestly, that's a really that's a good joke for anybody out there. You go to the zoo with anybody. Like, it's a real <laughs> zoo. <laughs> but yeah, I think that probably like my rule for stuff like this, especially with family, you are allowed. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my the cutest god. baby news of all time. Is that a lot to say? <laughs> of I'm course, sorry. My, no, 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 do not apologize. Let her talk. <laughs> we do not oh silence god. women. We would never show. silence a woman on the show. Um, but uh, I would say with family stuff like that, it's okay to be firm, mm-hmm. but it's you, you just mm-hmm. want to be like clear, firm, and empathetic is like yes. the yeah. combo. You, you, you're you allowed to say your opinions. Exactly. You're allowed to say like, hey, I'm so sorry, but like we wanted to do that as a family and you yeah. being there made it really difficult. You're allowed to say that. Yeah. I think that sometimes like if people use 
their wants as manipulative tactics yes. to, to what yeah. you have. It's just like, well, then that's your experience and whatever. We got to yeah. move past it. But you I, didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, you did nothing wrong. I, definitely I would don't be think annoyed. You're definitely not the asshole. I think you're right to be annoyed. The question is whether like, you could wait until she sort of oversteps again and do it, or you could proactively have Bro. your husband... Uh, and I think that would be better. Yeah, I agree. Is it just in a moment where she's in a good mood and you, you, you your husband picks the you right just moment tear and tear it down. Just say, hey, ruin her day. I just, well, it will, it will, it might ruin her day, but like you just say, <laughs> right. just say that there are times yeah. where we want to have time that's just ours and we'd appreciate it if you, mm -hmm. if you respected that. Like there's yeah. a version of this conversation that, cause you're not saying we don't want to see you. You're no. just saying occasionally, <laughs> right. yeah. like very rarely <laughs> when we specify time that's ours, we just really, we don't get enough of it. I appreciate your help. That, yes. Okay. And then also makes me feel, cause I was like, Maybe, maybe I'm just not no. right. Here. No, no. no, 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 no. Your representation of being frustrated was ex like exactly the right thing to do. Yeah. You just were sort of cold, a little bit cold, a little bit distant, yeah. and you didn't address it. Well, thank you so much for calling in. Um, I hope you had fun at the zoo and you saw a lot of monkeys. <laughs> We did. Thank you so much. <laughs> Talk to you later. Ciao. Bye. Ciao. Bye. <laughs> Loving Chow. <laughs> Chow is honestly, it's really funny to be called the Wrecking Ball Group and then say Chow. Like, to me, you were saying we should rebrand it as European. And I'm like, no, 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 no. It's funnier because they're so different from each other. Yeah, I yeah. like that. Wrecking Ball Group says Chow. And like, we have like European affectations, maybe. But, Little espressos, um, maybe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Little well, espresso. We got to do a post. We gotta do an Instagram um, post. Yeah, yeah. And is a European we, we themed can Instagram wear, post. We can wear like a beret one episode because <laughs> uh, berets are. I love are, that. Yeah. Like we're now. It's the Wrecking Ball crew. <laughs> See, like at first I was not loving Chow, but I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> we'll finally admit it. Well, I, when, you, when you first you said it, it, when you first oh. said it, I was like, I was sort of thrown, and maybe, and I, and then I, the, when Miles was like, no, we have to come back. A to little Chow. xenophobic, maybe. No, <laughs> I'll have you know, I'm going to Italy this summer, sir. <laughs> uh, so yeah, no, oh I yeah, God. we're we're. <laughs> Calling we're, Miles sir is actually pretty funny, and I might do that at work. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> So, yes, sir. sir. Yes, sir. I would honestly be so embarrassed. I'd be like, um, <laughs> sir. Do you want the edit by noon, sir? <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. By the way, you, call you were talking about sir. Sherlock Holmes uh, earlier, yes, and I would like to see you do sort of your exaggerated persona version of Sherlock Holmes, where like I don't have to be Watson, but you know I'm, I'd be Watson. But this is like a comedy <laughs> sketch idea where like you pretend to be Sherlock Holmes, but you say gas a lot. <laughs> That's gas. Shit's gas. <laughs> I think I actually did find out who killed him. Get ready for this fucking wh whammy. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I can do that. I, Gen I, Z Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, that's right. And it's just your persona <laughs> saying things that Sherlock Holmes would say, but like not doing a British accent or really a That's gas, guys. Hey, <laughs> by the way, we found the killer and uh, he's a fucking real piece of work. Let me be honest. Yeah, I like this. He's a piece of work. <laughs> he's a, he's a piece goddamn piece of work. Anyway, this guy sucks. <laughs> um, well, let's get to the final segment of the show, a segment that we like to call Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Wrecking Ball crew, we've certainly had some laughs and some gaffes. Um, yeah. Well, I was wondering if maybe we could do a little uh, future tripping. Future trip. On 10 years from this day, mm -hmm. what does your day look like? And where are you and what are you doing? Mm. And what does that life look like? And what's the feeling that that presents? Manifesting. Manifesting. Okay. I wake up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's it. Already really good. Yeah. And Already re off to a good start. Probably in a nice, I mean, listen, could be either in LA or Denver. Whoa. Yeah, but it's a house with a yard. Yeah. And a dog, two dogs. Two dogs. And how old am I? I'm 36. Yeah. So I think I probably have some children. <gasps> Fun. And some. Uh, Foster dog. I don't know. It depends on how sort of hard kids are, I guess. So, so two regular dogs. <laughs> foster dogs. You have a fleet children, of dogs. Foster children. Like, I just want, like, sort of an army. 
Five of cats, beings. two dogs, and <laughs> ten kids. Yeah, I'm like, okay. Well, if we whittle it down, let's just say, I think there. I want Whittly, there. Yeah. Whittly. Um, I want there to be a lot of care, like caretaking. I love that because I think that's fun. And then walk the dogs in the park. Hopefully, there's probably like a solution to global warming on the <laughs> forefront of the news. <laughs> like, global warming fixed. <laughs> yeah, I'm not worried about that anymore. Yeah. Um, probably in like having a stable relationship. I guess mm. I'm just sort of describing a really boring life. No, that it I sounds thought good. Would be boring. Like in high school, if I were like, this is the big dream. Yeah. But um, and probably like working on like um, being my own boss in something creative. That's huge. And famous. <laughs> 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 Just tacked on, and also as fa- famous and as also, Jennifer Aniston. That's it. Yeah, my husband is Sean Mendes, but <laughs> it's a stable relationship, and he loves me. Famous for, um, famous for what specifically? Do do you want to be famous for your you're known for your work? Oh, or do you want to be known for um, your performance ability? Mm. I think yeah. I think probably like. Um, okay, this is actually I'll pitch you I'll pitch you live. Yeah, please. I sort of want to have a podcast where like I have people on and we talk about like biggest failures. Yes. But that requires I think what's hard is that requires so much from the other person. You know, like pre-pro and like um just like a willingness to be vulnerable. Yeah. So I think it's like that's but that's an example of like something that like requires yeah, like I'd be on it obviously, but like also mm-hmm the production and the editing would be like maybe a bigger part than like the actual time that I'm on it. This American lifestyle or uh, like talk show interview style? Like, um, like not this American life, like not the like cuts, yeah. but like an interview show, but it's like heavily edited. So it's yeah, like great. you, you know, like what they said at the end might be in the beginning and three sentences here, three sentences here. Radio sentences lab here. style almost. Yeah. Prob- it's yeah. like one interview, but they kind of move everything around. They have addendums and whatever. Yeah. Rainy, I think that's a hole in one. Thank you. <laughs> I think that you'd be a fantastic host for something like that. Uh, I think that that's a great goal, and I think you're going to accomplish it. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I feel <laughs> believed in, and I sometimes that is like that's kind of critical, actually. Well, you're a very good interviewer. Um, Thank you. I find that you ask very good questions, oh my gosh. Uh, and uh, you're good at moving a conversation along, and also diving a little bit deeper into a well of conversation. <laughs> Thank you, Miles. I'm laughing at the hand gestures. This, this is how you dive into water, by the way. <laughs> uh, Will, yeah, Will. Yeah. 10 years from now. Oh, God, I don't know. This is a hard exercise for me. I got a lot of things I don't really know, but... <clears throat> <laughs> All right, it's 9 a.m. 9 a.m.? I wake Interesting. up. Wake and bake. I, I look over next to me as Dua Lipa. <laughs> No way. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, I, no, come on. That's not happening. Uh, the, it the, no. You no. only need to run into a grocery store and then that's no, it. No, 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 no. Peter Joe's by the almonds. No, 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 no. Um, no, I mean, I have a similar dream to Rainey's. I, I can imagine, you know, the trappings of, um, you know, success, you know, in a creative field is definitely the thing that I'm pursuing, whether yeah. it's writing a TV show or getting freaking books published or whatever yeah. shit. I'd like to do shit like that. And uh, so I'm heading that direction, but I it, I don't know that it's going to work out. So it's hard for me to really imagine 10 years from now with any sort of solidity. Um, yeah. But Because does it make you anxious? Do you feel like you're jinxing it by thinking of it? Not jinxing it. I just like don't know that it's going to happen. You know, you in the way that I'd like to. Later. Yeah, and so it's like, mm. you know, there's a level of like you. I do think you have to have to level have a level of delusion to approach something. One hundred percent, I think successful people are delusional. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I, I, I think that you have to envision the world was just you know you can make it possible, but there's delusion involved in mm-hmm. getting you there because it's just all of the things that everyone wants to do are very competitive, and that's why every yeah. call on the show of like, what should I do after college? How do I get a? How do I become a famous YouTuber? It's right. like I don't know. Well, what's funny is like, well, one, I think you will accomplish those things. Yeah. Um, but I think also sometimes with my goals, taking the onus out of the world's approval. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. So like yes. you're saying like, I want to have written books a hundred percent. You can write books. Yeah. Right. 
And it's it, like taking the onus out of like, okay, I need it to be the best selling fucking book. Yeah. I need it to be the <laughs> yeah. only thing I do is yeah. write books too. 100%. I think that, that like taking that stuff out sometimes mm -hmm. helps me for my stuff because I'm like, well, these are a lot of things I want to do, but yes. it's sometimes hard for me because I'm like, I want to do a lot of different disparate things. And for you, it's like, I think you're going to have a long storied career of many different yeah. creative passions and outlooks. Um, but maybe it takes the pressure off of what you're talking about. No, yeah. 100%. And you know. I, I, I couldn't agree more. I think that yeah. you, uh, the thing that I want to do, it, and it sounds so fucking pretentious and corny to actually say this, which is why I hate saying it, but like, I want to be like, I want to make art. And, but I don't, think that, yes. I don't think that you need the success of the market to do that. And uh -huh. I, what the thing that I'm striving to do yeah. is like build a good routine where, because I just enjoy the process yeah. and focusing on enjoying the process means that you might actually do it more yeah. and, do, and yeah. get better results. So totally. like yeah. my sort of manifesting dream, yeah, you know, sure, I'd love to be in love, have kids, whatever. Yeah. But like at the end of the day, like just having a really nice oak office with a door I can close. 100%. Oh, yeah. And I go in there and I do my thing. That might be all I really want. Dude, yeah. that uh, idea, I, I, I have the same thing where it's like, yeah, just the idea that I could make stuff in an oak, I go to go to a study. That's right. I want to oh, study. Yeah. Yes. Well, also say like one of the. I mean, I feel like now, obviously, this show being one of the things I'm very proud of that I've mm -hmm. gotten to create. But uh, w one of the like, I think about this a lot. I wrote a screenplay a long time ago called Mole People. <laughs> very bad thriller horror about yes. these like people who had nuclear radiation they lived underneath the New York City subway and they were all cannibals and they had a whole society <laughs> I mean I like this kind of scary kind of scary <laughs> kind of weird funny and uh, I wrote this whole screenplay when I was unemployed and I had all my friends over and I bought a bunch of pizza and I, we did this <gasps> reading of it oh. and that is like that night one I didn't sell anything I didn't yeah. make any money I was so broke but that night is like in my mind is oh. one night where I'm like, oh, that was the dream. Like That's the dream so was sweet. I wrote this thing. Everyone read it, gave feedback. We're all laughing, having fun, yeah. talking about the hypothetical of something that could be made. Yeah. And sometimes like that for me is the creative ideal. It's like, yeah. Yeah. I want to make stuff with my friends. I want to I want to do that for my friends. Like if you wrote a screenplay, we could all get together and read it together. I, mean, and, I love you know? the idea of, of you being like, okay, I need to do this. And then we need to all read it out loud. That makes it so much more fun than just yeah. writing. Yeah. It and then just having it around because yeah, yeah. totally. you got sort of the culmination. <laughs> um, I feel like I talk about this all the time, but my 10 year mm -hmm. um, thing, I think that like, yeah, I don't know. Well, Julian's obviously 10. He'll be 10. He'll be fucking 10. He'll be in fifth grade. Which is cr Whoa, that's crazy. Middle school. He'll be doing homework. And that's really crazy. Um, no, my goal is that I work for myself mm -hmm. uh, entirely. I can take Julian to school. <gasps> Sarah Aww. will be working on TV shows, things like that. Um, uh, she'll be doing her creative projects, but like I can kind of be like a stay-at-home dad that has my own projects during the day. Yeah. It's like kind of my dream. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I've known this type of guy, by the way. Yeah. Uh, and it's a good type of guy to be. Oh, my old man. boss was like this. Yeah. Like, and part of it was that his wife was a doctor and he mm -hmm. was like, he did all the stuff with the kids and yeah. then he had... A, a, like freelance work that he would do right. but he'd also just be like let's like go get a beer at like 3pm and he paid me for this it was that's the best great. that's the best shout out Matt <laughs> Cooper anyway huge shout out um, but no it's like I want yeah like I want a life where I can wake up like my, my real ideal is that I can wake up on a Tuesday mm -hmm. and be like what do I want today to be yeah and that I have enough like client work or mm -hmm. uh, you know this podcast you know, who knows if I'll still be doing it hopefully <laughs> I like like it now it's like what's the yeah. next iteration of that how do I like I, I obviously have creative goals of like what if I make a film or whatever but really what's important to me is that I can wake up on a Tuesday and be like what if I go to coffee with my friend Will and Rainey <gasps> yeah you know, would it's love like, what, and it's like being able to dictate my life in a way that is relaxed I think hey. it's the most important thing for Absolutely. me. Absolutely. I'm, I'm fine working really hard sometimes if I can have a long stretch of uh, weeks of waking up and like fucking around. Just to wake up and be like, what if we went to the beach? And then you do yeah. it. And then you do it. Yeah. It's like kind of the coal goal. You go yeah. to the zoo. Your mother-in-law is not there. She's standing behind a pillar. <laughs> the pillar really was striking. The pillar me. was the pillar is a really good detail. I'm yeah. also like, was she there since 9 a.m.? No, I probably. think so. I think she probably got there early because she didn't know when they would arrive. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. yeah. But anyway, I think that's I think that's attainable. Thank you. And I'm excited to see it unfold. Thank you. Um, well, guys, thanks for doing the show.
Oh, oh, as it's always, a joy. it's so fun. Truly um, delicious. I, obviously, we got Enjoy. a bunch of good sound effects from me. They're going to be making the permanent <laughs> rotation. Big time. Um, and I'm probably going to be. And, I'm thinking like, you know what? In the comments, if you want to have any of Will's catchphrases yep. added to the soundboard, write your favorite <laughs> Will phrase. <laughs> Um, that he's sort of always saying. I'm thinking big natties in Will's voice is really well. Yeah, okay. big naturals. Yeah, uh, naturals. look, am I allowed to talk about how I like big naturals on no, this show? You're not. Okay, great. You're certainly not. <laughs> but um, thanks for listening, everybody. Uh, Rainy, where can people find you? Um, raining. It's raining toll on Instagram and raining toll on Twitter and rainy toll on TikTok. But I am going to revamp my TikTok. So. Well, you already have started by revamping the name. Because it used to be- Yeah, revamping the name. used to be- Yeah, that was a very funny name. Yeah. And I also got a new camera. So the video quality is about to be huge. On my phone. phone? I got a new phone. I got you a new phone. Yeah. Yeah, It had a crack in the camera, but- You can follow me at W Whitwer on all social media. I am not interesting, but I do have a small post coming up on May 1st. Oh, Uh, show. Pre-September 5th? Pre-September 5th. We have a small post. I meant to do it in March. It's coming out May 1st (laughs) anyway. Whoa. Uh, Here we go. So that's Monday- as we record this probably after the release but if you're listening to this you want to see a small nice small post come check out my Instagram feed you're gonna love it um yeah <laughs> those cheers are September really September 5 big post though. Yeah. September, September 5 big post September 5 is the big one May, yeah. May what May 1 May 1 this May day this is coming out after May 1 no I understand that but if you're listening to it now and you, you want to see it, it you check it peep the post P P P P the post. Um, well, everybody out there, I appreciate you listening, spending some time with the Wrecking Ball crew, uh, and remember that perfection is only a call away. Ciao. That was a headgum podcast.